If you've watched the financial news lately, I bet you've seen news articles like this, and this, and this. It almost seems like the entire internet, as well as the news media, is talking about Dogecoin, and people are becoming millionaires overnight. So if you're confused about what is going on and what all of this means, I got you. Hey everybody, it's Prashant here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me in today's video. Let's dive in. So if you watched my video on Bitcoin, link in the description below, you know what a cryptocurrency is. Dogecoin is also a cryptocurrency with a few key differences. While we don't know who the creator of Bitcoin exactly is, we do know that Dogecoin was created by software engineers Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer. Dogecoin was intended as a joke with its symbol and its name coming from a meme showing the Shiba Inu dog. And unlike Bitcoin, which has a limited supply of 21 million Bitcoins ever, Dogecoin has no such cap. In this sense, Dogecoin is actually much closer to traditional currencies than Bitcoin. Guys, before we continue with this video, I want to borrow Graham Stephan's phrase and ask you to please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and also click the bell icon. This helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and motivates me to keep making these videos. That being said, let's get back to our video. Before we talk about what is going on with Dogecoin now, we should first talk about its history. Dogecoin was officially launched on December 6, 2013. And then between December 6, 2013 and December 19th of the same year, the price of Dogecoin went up from 0 0.026 cents to 0 0.095 cents. Now I know what you're saying, hold up Prashant, that's not big money at all. That's not even a full cent and you are correct. But here's the thing, it's actually more than three times. That's huge. Since then, the price of Dogecoin has soared and crashed just like with every other cryptocurrency. In the 2017 and 18 time frame, when all other cryptocurrencies were also on a bull run, the Dogecoin actually hit a high of 1.4 cents per coin. Let's fast forward to January of 2021, when Dogecoin caught my attention one more time. This is when the price of Dogecoin hit 7 cents per coin. This is about the same time when the whole GameStop short squeeze happened. By the way, if you haven't seen my video on the GameStop short squeeze, you should definitely check that one out after this video. I will leave the link to the video in the description below. At the same time when GME or GameStop was trending on Reddit, Doge or Dogecoin was also trending on Reddit. To top that, we got a look to our good friend Elon Musk. <laughs> That's right, Elon Musk strikes again. This year, Elon Musk has been tweeting non-stop about Dogecoin and every time he tweets about it, the price keeps climbing higher. Now, why he does this, I don't know. Maybe he's just a troll and he's amused by the fact that he can make the price of Dogecoin move every time he tweets, or maybe he's got a lot of money invested in it. Who knows? But the fact of the matter remains that Elon has been tweeting about Dogecoin non-stop and hyping it up and calling for it to go to the moon. Now, I'm going to be real with you. I also bought a little bit of Dogecoin. Now, let me be clear, I did not intend for this to be a long-term investment. Mostly, I see this as a little bit of a gamble. Honestly, I had a huge case of FOMO and I wanted to see what would happen if I put some money in it. I figured, even if I lose all the money, at least I'll get to make a YouTube video about it. And here we are. So, I ended up putting $100 in my existing Robinhood account and using that $100 to buy 1067 Dogecoins at an average cost of 9.3375 cents on April 13th, 2021. Lucky me. On April 15th, Dogecoin was trading at about 29.5 cents per coin. And on April 16th, it briefly hit an all time high of about 42 cents. So my investment of $100 was briefly worth $450. My money 4X'd in just three days. At the time of me recording this video on Sunday, April 18th, Dogecoin is currently trading at about 32 and a half cents. Let's see if you can see that. Right there. Perfect. So what happened? Why did the price of Dogecoin spike so dramatically? Here's my theory on that. The price of Dogecoin spiking coincided perfectly with the direct public offering of Coinbase. Coinbase is a company that operates a crypto exchange, similar to the Nasdaq. Only difference is it allows its users to trade cryptocurrencies as well as lend cryptocurrencies and a few other features. It currently has 56 million users and allows the trading of mainstream cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and a few altcoins. The company was founded in 2012 
and went public on April 14th, 2021, just one day after I bought my Dogecoins. Okay, I'll confess, this was not entirely a coincidence. In fact, I've been looking into investing in cryptos for a long time. And the first time when I seriously considered buying into Dogecoin, it was trading at about four cents. However, I was nervous about it and I ended up waiting till just one day before the Coinbase IPO and buying in at an average cost of about nine cents. Even though trading of Dogecoin is not supported currently on Coinbase, I was making a bet that all the hype around Coinbase will likely give a boost to all cryptos, Dogecoin included. I knew that the Coinbase IPO was so big that institutional funds like big banks and investment funds will be investing into this as well. And because it was a direct public offering, they would have to buy at the same time as retail investors. Sure enough, Cathie Woods' ARK funds ended up buying 750,000 shares of Coinbase for a total cost of $246 million. I also figured there'd be a lot of interest in Coinbase from retail investors like you and me. And what all of this meant is that I really expected there to be a huge hype around cryptos and I expected all cryptos to grow up. So question is, did I invest in Coinbase? The answer, sadly, is no. And here are my reasons why. One, I am an index fund investor. I rarely, if ever, buy individual stocks. Second, I'm currently treating any money that I put into cryptocurrencies as play money. And I am not willing to put any significant amount of money into investing towards cryptocurrencies. Next, I only wanted to use about $100 of my money and the Coinbase IPO price was expected to be $250 at a minimum, with some estimates being as high as $380. And lastly, I've been burned before on buying shares on IPO day. A few years ago, I bought shares in Snap, the parent company of Snapchat, for about $25 a share, and then had to watch horrified as it fell to below $5 over the next few months. This experience has made me so, so, so cautious of buying anything on IPO day that I'd rather just lay back and see what happens. And man, am I glad that I did not invest in Coinbase on IPO day. I have not done an analysis on the company, so I don't really know what my target price for this company would be. All I know is I watched the listing open live on my phone at about $381, and I saw it climb briefly to over $420 before falling and closing below IPO price by the end of the day. Going back to my theory of why the price of Dogecoin spiked, on top of all the Coinbase action, we have to thank our friend Elon again. He just keeps non-stop tweeting about it, which only pushes the price of Dogecoin higher. Now, let's take a moment and talk about the philosophy behind Dogecoin and indeed all cryptocurrencies. My thinking is that people are a little skeptical and a little scared in general. Recently, you might have heard that of all the dollars printed ever, ever, more than 20% were printed in just the last one year. That means one in every $5 to be in existence ever were printed within the last 12 months. This is due in large part to the fact that the US government has passed several stimulus packages in the last year, totaling to several trillion dollars in order to stimulate the economy. All of these extra dollars have stoked fears of inflation. People are worried that this will result in an increase in prices of consumer goods. At the same time, some people are skeptical that this new money will be spent well. Some people have a general mistrust of banks, especially after the 2008 recession, which they believe was caused by banks and their poor lending practices at the time. The fear of inflation and skepticism in central banks is driving interest in cryptocurrencies. Most people are looking to buy cryptocurrencies in the hope that the price of cryptocurrencies rises faster than inflation, thus providing a hedge against inflation. On top of this, no government or central banks control cryptocurrencies, which gives some people a certain peace of mind. Now you might be wondering, why specifically Dogecoin? I can understand Bitcoin because we've all been talking about it for a long time, but why Dogecoin? So here's my theory about that. I think people have been seeing Bitcoin start as a fringe idea and then go to a few hundred dollars at which point they thought, man, this is too overvalued, myself included, and then watched it go to over $60,000 per coin. And now it is so expensive that it is almost impossible for most people to think about buying even one single Bitcoin. And it seems to people that they've missed out on a huge wealth building opportunity. 
So now people are looking for the next best thing. And that's where Dogecoin comes in. Most people are just looking to invest in Dogecoin and participate in a little pump and dump and see what comes of it. Just for fun, let me tell you what would have happened if you had invested $1,000 in Dogecoin, but back at the very beginning in 2013. If you invested $1,000 in December of 2013 at a cost of 0.026 cents per Dogecoin or 0.00026 dollars per Dogecoin, you would have been able to purchase over 3.8 million Dogecoins. At its all-time high on April 15th of 2021, just eight years later, your $1,000 investment would have been worth $1.6 million. $1.6 million! You could have retired a millionaire today. Now I know this is a pretty useless example. It's not like you can know what's going to happen in the future, nor can you go back in time and buy Dogecoin in the past. This is just the kind of example that CNBC uses in a lot of their YouTube videos and they get a lot of views. I thought I'll try to do the same and maybe get some extra views. It just goes to show how successful speculative bets like this can be when everything goes right. Now here's a word of caution though. Most times speculative bets like these go wrong and most times people end up losing their entire investment. So please be careful when you're thinking about making speculative bets like these. So what do I think of all of this? Here's the thing. I think Dogecoin is a very speculative instrument at this point. It was intended to be used as a currency, but unfortunately you cannot widely use it for your daily purchases right now. There is no cap on the number of Dogecoins that can be minted, which is similar to the dollar. However, there is no central agency or bank deciding or adjusting how many Dogecoins will be minted from year to year. This means that there is no mechanism to cap or increase the supply of Dogecoins to combat inflation or deflation. Not having a central agency or regulation can be great for some people, but can be disastrous for others. What happens if your Robinhood crypto account gets hacked, or your Bitcoin or Dogecoin wallet gets broken into and all of your money disappears? Because there is no regulation and no insurance, you might be out of luck. So I think Dogecoin is a very risky investment, and you should only invest money in it that you're fully prepared to lose. You should probably not have more than a few percent points of your net worth in cryptocurrencies, if any at all. Unless you completely understand the speculative nature of cryptocurrencies, the risks involved, and are okay with losing the money that you put in, you should probably stay away from Dogecoin. If you do understand all the risks and are willing to take them, then maybe put some money into it and see what happens. Maybe it will go to zero, or maybe you'll be a millionaire. That's all I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, and I hope you found this video interesting and useful. I hope that you now understand exactly what Dogecoin is and why the recent spike in price happens. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so I can get moving towards 200 subscribers. Go ahead and hit the bell icon to be notified instantly when I post a new video. I post at least one new video every week with great financial content and I'd love to see you back here. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will leave the handles in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you Dogecoin.